During the reign of the Chibcha, there were three indigenous towns in the territory of Pesca. Pesca, which was in the center and was like the capital of the other two, Chabiga and Mochaga, with the indigenous populations of Gemeza, Puzbanza, Toca, Pesca, Fieravitoba and Tobasia, they formed the sacred province of Iraca, governed by a cacique. The town that the conquerors called Paveses, close to Toka, and through which they passed to reach the Isa farmhouse, 
was none other than Pesca, according to historians. The Dominican priests were the first religious missionaries who came to Pesca to evangelize. In 1556, the Archbishop of Santa Fe, Fray Juan de los Barrios, assigned several Dominican priests here and to other towns inhabited by the Chibchas. Pesca was present in the Comuneros movement in 1781, with a group of citizens that went to Zipaquira under the command of Captain Don Thomas Martinez to join the armies of Juan Francisco Berbero. On December 9, 1911, when Tunja declared itself a republic and created its own constitution, Pesca was represented in that historic event by the Presbytery voters Joaquin Malo and Diego Gomez de Polanco, the same ones who signed the Act of Independence of the province of Tunja. When the province of Tunja was organized into departments, Pesca was integrated into the Eastern Department. The town's main water source is the Pesca River, which runs through the feet of the town. It then enters a plain and joins the river that descends into Iza to reach Sogamoso and deposit its waters into the Chicamoca River. The hamlet was built on a plateau sloping to the north, towards the south, east, and west points give rise to mountain ranges that form a kind of horseshoe opening through the northern part of the town. Pesca's economy mostly relies on the exploitation of agriculture and livestock. The soil produces potatoes, wheat, corn, barley, vegetables, as well as fruit trees. In its hills, there are good woods used in construction and cabinet making. Its pastures feed cattle and horses. Also, its territory is rich in large reserves of phosphate rock mines, a mineral that today is processed in a plant installed in its jurisdiction, and that is especially used as fertilizer in agriculture. There are also mineral coal mines and asphalt deposits. From Pesca, there is a road that passes through Fira Vitoba and goes to Sogamoso. Another road joins this town with Toca. Pesca is 108 kilometers away from Tunja, which is the capital of the department of Boyacá. The town has a health center with a permanent medical and dental care, paid for by the municipality. There are four health posts in the villages. At the end of November and the first week of December, the patron saint festivities are celebrated in honor of Santa Barbara. Market is on Monday. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the town of Pesca. If you did and you're interested in this beautiful part of Colombia, I have many more videos of the other towns that I got to visit in Boyacá and you can find all those in a playlist that is linked in the description for this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and or leave a comment letting me know what you thought about the video. Like I mentioned, there are a lot more videos of Boyacá that I've made that you can find in the description below this video. There's also a link to another playlist of the time that I bicycled through Colombia, which is part of a larger trip 
bicycling through Latin America. I've also bicycled through Eastern Africa and Central and Eastern Europe. And I have playlists for all those countries that I've bicycled through available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. Alternatively, if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I went and everything that I got to see and do, I have that map available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of those places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures through Colombia and beyond, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. All right, so that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.